just on my head, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Big Massive Podcast with Pints. Don't know how this is going to go. The second one. <laughs> the second one. <laughs> you bastard. Get the fuck out of the right, We're going to turn it everything. Just <laughs> we could do a second one and we'll probably, uh, yes. One, Cheers. One sup. Cheers. One sup of beer. I'm the exact same man. <laughs> Come prepared. <laughs> Three vapes. All different flavors. Sure, a glass of wine on a Friday night or Saturday night. Just as soon as I start drinking a glass of wine, just a wee vape. Man. So this has happened to me. What happened? What was I at on Thursday night? You were in the Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, my channel, Great Craig. Um, on the Friday night, a headline that show up on... Glen Owen. The Glen Owen. Shout out to all the fans that came. I love the, f- the podcast. You know who you are. I forgot yeah. your names. <laughs> Surprise to anybody listens. But there's ones that even talking to me about bits. Hmm. That they enjoyed most about the podcast. It was like, there was a few podcast fans Was there. it me? Probably I. Looking at you. Weird seeing yourself there on that TV. Doesn't it? <laughs> I'm doing a lot of that there, though. <laughs> a lot of pouting. So I, what I did is like, man, it was a fucking great gig. Um... Well, I'm on your buzzing afterwards. As uh, you rang me on the way home. And when I got home, I uh, telling you about the, the ones yeah. coming up. They're asking about you too. <coughs> then I got on and I says, fucking have we wait, you know what I mean? Celebrate, do, 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 do. Pan that bottle. Then I realised, fuck, I have another bottle. <laughs> Pan that bottle. End up pinning three bottles. Three bottles? I was in my bed, watching TV with one I opened, and sinking from the bottle. <laughs> oh my God. But the fact No me. way. <laughs> And it was her Rosie. She got up and said a bottle of Rosie, nothing. Uh-huh. That's like lemonade too. Just yeah, that's like WKB. That's just because bong. And then I just wake up. Well, there's about that much left in the bottle, you know what I mean? Woke up. I went, oh no. I've agreed to go to Frey Clever and Terry to just get stressed. That's all right, sir. Sweat going down my jazz. <laughs> sitting still in bed. <laughs> Sweat and sitting still in bed. And I was like, oh, you can't get out of it now. Just... And I had none. Nothing planned. The only thing I planned... No way. <laughs> the only no thing... No way. <laughs> you know the way this is organized? <laughs> Weeks in advance. It's like where's an, ep- where's it's like an episode of Simpsons. Uh. Takes seven months to do each episode. <laughs> Lights and, you know... We've been writing this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Conferring and all. We had two podcasts before us. Pra- practice one. Uh. Before we do this. <laughs> <laughs> two dummy runs, eh? <laughs> A dress rehearsal. No, so I went, oh, the only thing I was thinking, I was going, I'll just say London Fairy Clever. <laughs> Man, landed up, and I ran around like a header, like, and she could, you'll see him, he's like, he's dying. And I was like, fucking. <laughs> did, you do, I, did you do a street video? Aye. Oh. Why? Because I kind of, like, I would get anxiety doing them just sober. Oh, I've walked into the chip shops now, Aye. torturing people. I actually went over the line. Mind the day we went. There was one young fella, and he was like, Completely make up and all. I says, I'm like you, and I'm a trans member. <laughs> Even we called him and that that's was like, too, too far, daddy. Fuck, but that's a good joke. Eh? That's <laughs> a fucking brilliant joke. And I thought it was, but he says, I can't put that out, man. He There's me on about it. <laughs> but he was pure white, like a clown, right up, you no know, hair standing up to there, and I busted in dressed as an orange man, my Celtic top underneath it, though. I said, ah, that's only it. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Why, then he wasn't. What do you mean? <laughs> Pure dead action. <laughs> talking about mugger. That's what he said. It sort of was like that the whole... I'm not trans. See the mad thing about turning under the orange man? You don't give a shit then. Because if you're timid, it just looks terrible. You have to be the big... You have to be the... I actually had fake muscles and I forgot to bring them with me. I was going to get on them too and just be massive. You know what I mean? I've got the fake muscles of class under t-shirts. I, I used yeah. to have, you know the Frankenstein I used to do? Yes. I've got them. So you just fucking go up 20 times bigger. Right! Didn't have it, but I just started doing all that. But um, I do want to say it's one of the best videos I've seen that, he's, that your man caught it up and sent to me. Like, it's four minutes long. Is it good? Maybe with the wine last night, we were pushing ourselves watching it. Like, and then I sent it to a couple of people. Blee thought it was a cracker. Artist brother thought brilliant. But I'm afraid they say it's brilliant. And then it goes out and it's a bit shit. That's the way it fucking goes. That's the way it is. And so for someone that was ad lib. He caught he caught it up like I'll show it to you after this one, but uh, it's either going to fly or crash. You know what I mean? It's four minutes long, so we only worry. 
know yourself, people see four months. But if it's fucking going to town, now I'm going to town, and people like. I I think your man's very street. clever. He's a good fucking follower too. Not only that, he's very very clever. Is edgy. Do you know, he got his one just put on. No way. Yeah. Who else got one just put on? So when I had to reinstate the flag that they pulled down and all. But I went round. In real all. life, he got his one just put on. Aye. Why? See, he's. I think it was the, knee, on the he had kneecap stuff on his wonder. He does, but I pulled out about 10 cards that were all uh, Orange Man related. So it was easy material. I just read them out and started singing songs like The Friends Reunionist. No, <laughs> I kept mm. stuff at all. It was just. And he had jokes on the cards. You could just read them and then did the joke. It was yeah. great. Went out then. Uh, there's a shot too where Fenton. Is that not your name? He was Fenton. Oh, do you want me to Curie or Catholic this? And then he holds the card. And, when the, and the, man, the way he edited it, the card goes back up then. The body goes back up the front and he's just got a moustache and a board. <laughs> <laughs> but the way I read it, the moustache fell off. So it looks like class. No one of them accidental brilliant ones. And there's me with Iron Man telling me I love Fenton too, yeah. Uh, because Fenton's Irish. But then you're like, what's your second name? Harvey? And you're like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you're halfway there, man. <laughs> I was running run over to woman and everything. Well, I'm half a promise. No, I'm half a jaff. Come here, hug it all. So, it wasn't it was all over. And we were down in the food quarter and I started sweating all <laughs> from the drinking. I was like, oh, how did I do that? Like, And then I went home and I had a bath and then a cold shower because I was going up the end to support Gettys at half time. I forgot about it. Did you? Fucking useless. Me, McCarney and Talal backstage too. Good crack, eh? Fuck, they love milk berry. Just fucking it. Smashed it. About 500. Fuck. Just... <laughs> Bang bang, they love me. It's a big number, sir. Just when you know, you know when you know. Man, they're just fucking. Like there's a boy. Uh, do you know your man does the insurance thing? Calls out and all looks to see if you're, how you're. You know. uh, the way he was going on to me, we wasn't expecting it. They said to me, "Hey, fucking good, hey." <laughs> and, Thanks. Which is kind of insulting about as well. <laughs> do you know what it is? It goes to the boiler room. I don't do stand up in the boiler room. I do MCing more or less. Uh, Two different things. Uh, I've missed it. When I go away, I've got I've got a half an hour to forty minutes of just fucking works near nearly everywhere I'm going. I'm doing it that many times. I don't do it here because people be sick fucking listening to this. Mm. But I learn here. What I learn in the boiler room is the crowd work, interacting with the crowd, feeling comfortable, flowing one way joking. Like if a mommy banter joke now it's working. But it'll get better, you know what I mean? So that's what here's for. Yeah. But that's all he's seen. That's helping you, like even them fucking ones that you're fucking throwing out on the spot for the orange man. That's all from here. Nah. That's nah. all fucking. I'm here. Like, that's fucking four or five good jokes you just threw out there. I know. So that's what see when I just transform into the orange man. I've got Friend all that. Reunion, it's like that. <laughs> Friend reunion, I like us. Friend reunion, I see the shape me too. I'll show it to you. This is a cracker. Maybe it's too long, but I was thinking then you can easily cut this up into like four as well. For one minute videos and stuff, you know what I mean? Aye. So it's more content. I, I'll tell you what, my Facebook's blowing up. I had about 3,000 followers in the last week or so. Over a million in one video views. Fuck. It's like a country. And then I can't fucking <laughs> I can only sell 300 tickets for them for him. <laughs> Jesus, I, nobody can say I didn't fucking work for this. No. I was on BBC. What's play doing? Exactly, what are you here? It, it might have the met One of the big important meetings was going to the BBC Radio Foil because that's where we're targeting. Mark Patterson let us on. I said the Fenton or Lee, it'll be only five months because I've done it twice before. And you're settling on like a podcast and he goes, right boys, thanks. And you're like, all oh, right. No. Half an hour into this one and straight on the bites. So that, I got the boys in the car to put the poster up on the big screen. There's a poster right at the end. When's the last time you were in Derry? See, you go around the roundabout and Derry over the Blue Ridge. Big poster right bes- between two kneecap ones. My big face. Mm. And my kneecap one, that's the one we were at months ago. Uh, so that, and, uh, what else did I do? Uh, all the videos I'm putting on online. And so like your man? Us talking about it, obviously. Hi. Here's you love it. One so more your week. man got his windows put on because he had kneecap stuff on the window? He thinks, he's that. He thinks that is what the reason is. It's why stupid. I'm sure he ever for it's stupid. But Doesn't take much. scaring your family and your fucking... He made a light out of it and did a video. Keeps moving forward. He's a good lad. Shout out to Chris. Very clever. Do you know what? It's, it's become a sort of like a landmark. It's nearly like a Derry Girls. Well, people are coming there just to see it. 
You get people coming on looking for specific cards. Uh, Class. No, I'm one. I was on there. I didn't see your thing because... I'm a card now. Well, I've got a way to them, so that's everybody's birthday card for the next foreseeables. <laughs> are they all orange men ones? Are Just me. <laughs> Rhoda Boyle says, Shined, Happy birthday! Signed it. No, I fuck off. Because I, uh, I thought I'd seen that you were coming down to do like a sign or something. <laughs> that's what he did, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Then I was around giving them away because nobody came. <laughs> that's what I was doing. I was like, there's nobody coming to <laughs> Got a card signed by the orange man. There's a couple of wee Protestants landed, got their photo and ran on. Yeah, that's, that's good. It's a cross community. It is a cross community. It's a, if you listen, you'll get a good job. I brought Blee to the radio. Hey? Did you listen to it yet? Well, I'm trying to believe you. Like, Blee, you Did you it? listen to it? No. See. Si. Unless it's fucking us. You don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> no, but it's just the fact, as I was saying, they believe the radio, you are doing the Mark Pastor. It's like, oh, I can't really be bored. So I was like, why should I, why should I listen to it when the boy doing it can't be more? He was actually brilliant on it too, but. I believe he can talk, I believe he's eloquent with the word. <coughs> a sharp straight away answers. Where I'm going to go and write that down and give me 20 minutes. Uh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do regurgitate it in my brain, if that's even a fucking word. He can just go boom. Like he was going down roads I was never going to go down, like mm. chatting about Nostraban, you know, economy and all. <laughs> And I was just like hmm, sitting there, the oh, sure. agreeing with everything. I was down in Derry. I didn't see your sign, but man, I got another parking ticket. Hi. <laughs> so I was down at the. Did la- you ever keep count of these? No. So I was down at the launch of a thing in Derry. It's I say the Hurt Wellbeing Centre. So I was invited down. Tomorrow. So I went for a coffee, sat for an hour, was chatting, moved my car, went to the Hurt thing, moved my car again. I said, Do you know what? I wouldn't mind a guapo because we have a kid's party. So I parked outside guapo and my mate was in the car. Right? When you got the ticket? No. So he comes into the shop and says, you're getting a fucking ticket. So I was like, oh my God, stand you there. I ran out and she was like, no ticket on the thing. And I was like, fuck. And then I came back and I realised I've only been there 10 minutes. I was like, what the, you're a stupid bastard. I said, I've only been there 10 minutes. Fuck's sake. Did you move and go back to the original? I would have him back in the guapo. So the whole crowd's laughing at me because I'm doing a wee bit of a performance. <laughs> Fuck's sake, you stupid bat. I'm only there 10 minutes. Fuck's sake. Scaring the life out of me. No, everybody's laughing and all. So he's like, I'm going over to Tesco's here. Come back out. Fucking ticket in the car. Walk around the side of the car, loading bay. <laughs> <laughs> you should just get a bicycle, huh? Oh, and do you know who it was? Do you know that fucking po-faced one? No, you fucking... Yeah? Uh, I don't know her now. She used to be in Strabane. No. Sure, I'm never about... Oh, she's a con. I would hardly be in Strabane when it's traffic warden time, if you know what I mean. She, was, she used to be here years ago when she went to Derry. Remember the boy fighting the traffic warden who was caught in camera? I don't know why. They don't get any commission on her, no, you know, I thought they did. But what if you do none? Like, what if your job is just to say, <laughs> what if you just walk around giving none? Mm. That would be wrong too. Like, is it cool, Island? They're, they're not allowed on. Ah, like that's weird. Like, like why can't like that it's sounds like a Straban thing. Straban should have a thing where anybody with uniform came in the ballet come when I was we were you were allowed to attack them with stones and all. Postman, fucking anything with royal on it. <laughs> no man, so I got another fucking ticket. Raging. But I'm gonna use the old blue badge. There was a ten year I was out in foot patrol one time to see my mate, Mongo, his dad, God rest his soul, old Jerry. Uh, it's going up the, coming up the hill through the fog. Uh, thought I was a cop. Mm. Used to wear a hat at the back. Really got his fucking head blown off. <laughs> that is fucking <sighs> mental times, like. If you think about it, that was like <clears throat> my two wins are working today. Kills and the old people, someone comes up doing. She's, she's wiping bombs. She's doing her butt. Yeah. Start. Yeah. You have to start at the bottom there. Right? <laughs> you know, work your way up. <laughs> the tits. <laughs> <laughs> Stay there for about a week. Fuck me. So Connor's wiping tables and he's wiping holes. He said he came in and says, "What was it? Twenty-two thousand steps, da? Twenty-two thousand steps." And his voice is breaking down. So I like, "Twenty-two thousand steps." I said, "And you, you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it." 
I was like, don't you fucking talk to me about work. Uh, spuds. I was gathering spuds when I was 12, for fuck's sake, and I was selling, uh, I had everything to do with spuds right up to 16, <laughs> taking eyes out of spuds. Do you know how many, know many steps we'd done when we were packing spuds? We didn't know because there was fucking no way to tell. Exactly, me. and you walked to where you were working. <laughs> He's right beside the fucking place he works, going, Daddy, I'm going to be late. You know, looking at me, I'm going, oh, go, give me a lift. <laughs> on the PlayStation right up there. Nah, and the chains and that young fella. Holy fuck. But times change massively and it's fucking true. Like, I think I'm getting him now. He's out of that cycle of madness because when I was his age, I was downtown fucking round and yeah. getting him bother and fighting with door men and all. His age, I couldn't even picture him standing. You know, it was just he's still away in me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then if you even go back to my dad, when my dad was his age, he was out shooting the brits. <laughs> Every generation is just a lesson. Shooting Brits, fighting me Brits, talking to Brits. <laughs> Working with Brits. Working with Brits. You know what I mean? That's like completely different universe. Like. That's why I say Stravam is one of the most dangerous places, most bombed town in Europe in the 80s, 90s. Society- now it's, now it'd be one of the safest places they live. Uh, society has become a very safe... Here, aren't we? Jesus. Like, I have friends... That moved to England, Liverpool, London, stuff like that. Once did Wayne's, they came back. Because they can go out and play. Aye. You can't, Wayne's can't go out and play in London. No. Or any cities like that. No. But even here was a different time. Like, the Keely and Colin don't have to fucking deal with the fact that if they go out to the cinema and they decide they walk back, that they won't get fucking jumped by lover boys battered. Aye. <laughs> We're even saying too, aren't my Wayne's middle class? Oh, aye. Because we live in a detached house, two cars. Aye. Oh, aye. I found out about my street had two TVs. We didn't speak to them. Snobs. Fucking, I used to get that going Remember somebody got, the, somebody got the satellite done? Or double glazing windows? You're like... It's your five acres as well with posh. <laughs> po- they're all driving, carrying right? Oh, when they all. built fucking Brookville. Brookville was like Dallas. And they're semi-detached houses. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... They're fancy guys. Walking around right? the place. <laughs> like doesn't they laugh? Hey, what the fuck the... Road a driveway, <laughs> a driveway. What the fuck's that? Two for cars? No way. What's that green stuff all around the front of that? <laughs> a lawn? What? L A W M, right? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> like even the Ballycombe was designed not to have not to support vehicles. You know, you go down the Ballycombe now, all the cars are on the side of the road where nobody thought Ballycombe would ever get this situation where every house will have a car. Yeah, I now I would say every house is a couple. Because uh, do you ever drive up around the Craigan? Mm. It's called Craigan. I could correct it when I was on the radio. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. Just Craigan? You don't put the that on it. I did the same with Bridge End. I used to call it the, the Bridge End because we call ours the Bridge End. Yeah, down Bridge End. No, I would say the Bridge End. The Bridge End, eh? Yeah. But down there's Bridge End. Aye. It's not like this Draban. No. But I was calling it the Bridge End for ages and then they always hated it. But if you go up Craigan, there's cars on both sides and there's barely room for a Aye. car in the middle. Same thing. Early built. Working or housing estate. Did you see the new ones up at town? They're class. I can't go one. Unreal. They look like a private estate. Where? Up where Eamon lives, up at Curly Hill, just as the, not the Curly Hill, where the old school is. Oh, yes, I. Uh, Under the right? Uh, Jesus. He got one of them houses, you want to see it? Uh, I was up going this couldn't be it. Looked like cracker private houses. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's him for life, but once you're in there, you're in. Uh, was, hey, this is nice, this can't be a <laughs> Barricade. What? No, this is not a No, it's class, man. You know I mean? The big white doors and everything's fucking class. Uh, I should look at fucking Adria, too. CM houses, fucking class. Aye. Uh, it's all social housing as well. Mm. What are we doing wrong? Fuck. Paying bills and. Non stop, just. Fuck. Amazon comes on after I get paid, and it whenever I get paid that night. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. You buy, what do you buy now? 2040, or no, it's like 2014, 50, 2021, 60, 20, 20, 60, no, uh, but when you hear ding, 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 uh, they're all like 10 or minimum. Fuck, I hate spending money, you know. So, the, that's, it, whenever I'm in shops, I would love slippers and go, I like them, but 40 pounds. I know, that's why I'd be, yeah. Surely this is fun. No. Clarina helps, like. For all even young ones that don't have money, they need to buy the hundred pound slippers. You wouldn't be worth it seen walking them. Uh, or but, shoes. Uh, because the that's my that's like that's one of my gripes recently. Like because fuck, we just buy our way in shoes constantly. And see the ones that are done are not done. There's a fucking shoe repair man in the town. How does he make money? 
I don't think he's dealing drugs or something. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Somebody look into the shoe repair man. Who the thing. fuck is getting their shoes repaired now? You get a hole in your shoe, you're just throwing them in the bun. Hmm. It must athlete. be a woman's shoes, isn't it? Is well, women don't even wear shoes anymore. No, no they saw slippers and all. They don't wear big... It was always fucking the clicks of people back in the 80s walking around the place. Yeah, just fucking high heels. We had a teacher and used to chase us through the school. And you always heard her because of her high heels. You just hear her speeding up. And then you got away. <laughs> she was around her bare feet. She would have got, <laughs> got every last one. bastard. <laughs> no, but man, even like... <clears throat> so Karen said to me the last day, Jack's a hole in his fucking shoe. And I was like, just a wee fucking tiny... It's like, Man, a, it's like a sunburn on it. I'm still wearing my fucking Adidas ones. My toes nearly out the top of them. Ah, for the gentleman's but, gra- but if I wear grey socks, those are the holes. I'm waiting, man, for just liking a pair and just keeping wearing them. And then, like, it was, uh, it was Jack's birthday. It was Jack's birthday this week, so... I have two birthdays this week. Kill is my mass. No, it's a my mass 5th wedding anniversary. All right. Now, all our weddings are kind of winter, baby, so they're all... But Christmas and but my birthdays. thing is right. I kn- you know my first birthday party was eighteen. I cried my eighteenth. DJ didn't show up. <laughs> Jimmy Savile. <laughs> Barry Monaghan that was double book me. Then fucking I think somebody like Wes or somebody landed the end of the rave. Cry my eighteenth. Fighting boys did the town. <coughs> Twenty stone. <laughs> No DJ, no DJ. All the mates landed, there's no music, we're all just sit there. <laughs> <laughs> and there was the food hadn't right around her. What year was that? She couldn't have Bluetoothed anything. Oh, ah, there's no mobile phones or no. We're just sitting there. Just sitting there. <laughs> I, there wasn't like you could put a phone out and put music uh, on. Uh, no. Sure, what? 87, I was 10. 97, I was 20, so 96, 95? 95, no. No, there was fuck all. <laughs> your man. Is there probably that there wasn't people, even CDs, probably. It was there probably a lot of people a, listening to us going through, why didn't you just like, play your phone or there something? There was none. <laughs> no DJ, none. <laughs> no, there was no TVs and walls that they could play music or anything <laughs> like that, no. even. None. <laughs> so I think I was like Wes or somebody last month, landed on, and I was just get beats, and then I just got stolen. That's all I remember that day. Aye, but, man, that, but my first birthday party was 18. Now, my wins have won every year. Hmm. So Jack had... Aye, I bet you there are events. Jack had uh, all the family came around on Thursday night, the night of his birthday, cake, sweets. I would say there was probably 20 to 30 people in our house having tea and cake and Karen baked a lot of things. Friday then was Melvin. Pitch book for two hours, party up in the room, 17 young boys came. It's better having that out of the house, but to be fair. Oh, 100%. Fuck. But that's two parties he had. Why? And I was like, does he have to have the Melvin... Why do we have no say in these things, eh? I don't know. Do you know, Arlo was, take, Arlo was taking the wings down the town the last time, I'm going to be out of fortune, she says, I says, you're... <laughs> like, if you just be fortune sitting somewhere that I don't know about, <laughs> I'll cost then. I says, nah, keep going. <laughs> There's one more. <laughs> there's, there's, mm-hmm. there's, a, there's, a, mm-hmm. <laughs> there's another step. Come on. Never be said. Never be said. There. It's like trying to get a woman to say sorry. No, no. I mean, it's just not happening. <laughs> the apology never comes. Hi, man. My first birthday party was 18. Fuck, I think I've only had ever two birthdays. I got a couple of wee ones when I was wee, eh? But I remember one time we were scant and I got a marriage roll on Twix for my birthday. <laughs> She says, going to get you a car, but I know you love sweets. So <laughs> she knows you inside out. You can't eat a car. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. I love off a car. Uh, but man, I think I've only ever had fucking four birthday parties. 18, 21, 30, 40. Who cares about them anymore either? Eh? To get them done. Oh. Ach, sure, the second season's coming up now. And I always say it, for anybody who listens, like we're nearly four years this shit, so Christmas is always there like... Uh, oh, no I don't mind that day, food, drink, but it's like, what kind of holiday could you go on with the money? <laughs> uh, we are. I'm trying to say the order, order. And she's nah, this is going to be more dear this year. I said, why? Because of the age of them. I said, you fucking, two of them are working. <laughs> no, no, <why? laughs> See, when I got the 16, 
I think 16 was one of the last ones. That was the one where we got the... We fought about 10 presents. It was the Mega Drive split up. Aye. Wrapped the double adapter and the controller and everything. So we thought, yes. Opened it up. It was a Mega Drive between the three of us. We just put it in the living room. But... Kilo's okay, 19 now. Next with this week. Aye. When did he stop? When did he stop going to town? Like... I just, I, I just I'll him, tell you what Ethan's 21 I just give him money I'm already, that's what I'm saying I'm already the price of your win going to uni holy fuck nah, I'm not looking forward to that no. oh, everybody's telling me about it now I'm feeling it it's just like what it's like these wee hidden costs hey <laughs> where'd that come from? but I don't mind her being in the halls for the first year sort of safe secure place instead of the holy lands you know what I mean were you down up there up the holy yeah? lands <laughs> what were you down there at the weekend I, seen a pe- I, thought I, I was doing the gig. Oh, your whole family went there? No. I I seen a photo of That's a couple of weeks ago, just came up with my memories or something. We all went down. We went down to uh, W5 and then we went down. Oh, I fucking hate that place. Never going back. I don't know why, I my memory, it sounded just... I remember going the last time and thinking, this is shit. Mm, shit. But then two years go by and go, eh, maybe it's... Like the way they advertise it. I guess this is going to be... Science bad. is fun. <laughs> It's all space. space it. uh, it's just shit. Shit, eh? Even the dinosaur, but it's like the dinosaur films before they fucking came out with Jurassic Park in the 90s. Uh, you no, know, like big, stru- like Fred Flintstone stuff mm. when they're having gay old times. Uh, <laughs> we had a gay, gay old time. time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, shit. I hate it. I hate all them learning is fun. You wanted to get out, just, just wanted to get out. The way I like it. Not really. Me and Kelly are equivalent. And it's expensive. Doing the <clears throat> 10 radio or news report. You can record it then and send it yourself. But I think I brought work. I, I bring young ones from down south when I was working down up there. They were all right because they, you know, do you remember we all loved doing the Lego and stuff? Aye. So he was all right. And so they don't do with disabilities, so you're able to just sit and chill. Uh-huh. See this running around trying to see everything, and it's all shit. Uh-huh. Puffing smoke out of a puff thing, you know? Puff, uh-huh. puff. <laughs> After the second puff, you know, I get it. One puff. They're still, uh-huh. they're still pumping Two away. Two puff. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> all that shit. No. And then we went down to Dark's Walk. That's where that photo was done. Uh-huh. And then they went. <laughs> this was a good one. Uh-huh. They went to that place, all you can eat, what do you call it? Fuck. There's this place, what do you call the other big shopping centre in day or in Belfast? Castle Court. Victoria Square. Victoria Square, it's in there. <coughs> what do you call it? Anyway, it's one of these places that has every country's food. You've Chinese, Italian, Sunday dinner section, steak section. Which which country's Sunday dinner section? Ice cream here. <laughs> All that. What is Ireland's nice? But it's like? twenty pounds or something, and I says there's no point in fucking me going in there, I'll be full up fucking looking in the room. Yeah. Smells. So when they were in there, I was in K- I was in Burger King getting a small burger, <laughs> waiting on them. And they were like an hour in there going through everything. Fuck. You'd love it in there, sir. You just just walk around eating from the thing instead of getting full and plates. Snooky did that in all this. He was just eating from them and there was all the oh worst face. Oh, my God. Said, Snooky, sit down. Why? <laughs> You've got fucking food there in his forehead. How food got there? Like, because he was just eating like a pig. Oh, my God. And his woman said to him, there's food in your fucking forehead. And he went... I'll clean it off when I'm finished eating. <laughs> no point in doing it early. Like. <laughs> Get it all to one go with the end boy, you know what I mean? <laughs> no uh, King of the pigeons too. Uh, Anytime I ring him now, he's, he's, <coughs> he's the chair of the fucking committee. Pigeons. He loves them. What's the Fastest birds. Them? I don't know. What do you do, like? And you go to Scotland and let them off and then they land, they're in the house before you land back. <laughs> Yes, a lot of them don't make it. No, wonder if they'd be in Scotland. Going, oh, what are they going to make it back? Uh, <gasps> wheels. And then they, uh, and the boat over. They're like, oh, I wonder are they there. Mm. Uh, I just don't see what the. No, well, that's the thing. You have to be on the things. Uh, why? Well, the end boys cared. Snooky and uh, and Tom Mullins, old boy. What do they call him? Warner. Well, no, I'm not Warner. Sonny. Sonny. They could sit for hours talking about birds. I suppose as you said, like, you know, it's not right everybody right. likes football. It's like Blee. When you're at work with Blee, he chats about everything but work. When then when he rings you in the evening, it's all work. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> back to front. But like, you know, there's loads of people that like listen to us, don't like football and just don't get it. You ever hear that? Oh, just boys kick a fucking ball in a pitch. Mm. 
But that's what, if you do have no interest at all, the slurs I was with McCarney and Geddes and Talal. Talal then, he's in the football, but the other two boys just have no interest in it at all. So I'm watching Liverpool. I couldn't relax until I got the result on. Top of the league now. Top of the league. Oh, that's right, it was half five. What time was you up there? I went up for half six. Started at the doors at seven ish, I think, and started looking at Good crack. Haven't been in the Silver Birchers in a fucking long time, eh? That's my. Four. I think I've opened for Paddy Raffin there, Paddy McDonald now. Come on, get us. Good room, eh? When's the room now? When? What's the next body room? That's the end of the. End October? Oh, there was no. Um, end October, I, Alan, Alan Aaron, Ian Thompson, and Luke McGibbon, and Karen Franco. Class fucking lineup, it's going to be a brilliant night, but people want to see the big names. Mm. Of Colin Murphy coming the following month. Class, can't mm. wait. To, I was actually listening to him on. Uh, Murphy's brilliant. She and Todd's podcast, he's funny. Like. Oh, and I'm fucking going to be. It looks like we've got to move for the cash. Oh, dum, yeah. dum, dum. You were seeing that room the last night? Sir, I rang ski and ski. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why did you not tell me about this? And the Bentley, there's a room upstairs, a big square room with a set of hold 120. It was I, man. Because what happened was Ski ran me and said, Boy, we have a, like a function. It's not a function room, it's a restaurant. And he says, I was thinking maybe do a bit of comedy and a bit of music. I says, What? He says, Where? He was on the Bentley. I says, Can I look at it? Went and said, I says, Man, we're moving here. People are. Get, I think the first year of the cash was brilliant because it was a new thing and all. People just didn't like getting having to get home. Funny, I was chatting to someone from Derry the last day, and that's exactly what they said to me. Because your last memory is trying to get home, yeah. or the comedy like where we're, we're based now, the Bentleys, the like one of the busiest bars. But you could leave the comedy room and go to a different bar in the fucking place. Yeah. But you could also go anywhere you want in the city. I and a lot of it's a lot of football. That's sort of massive footfall is too, because we just have to put a sandwich board out and say what's on yeah. and just hope for the best. But I think it'll do brilliant. Right on the side of the city centre. Bentley's class. Fucking huge. Sir, it's like a TARDIS you're in wrong. I've only ever been out once, sir. But see, we were in round it. See, trying to find the toilet and get back to your seat. I'll tell you even better. I have to stand up in there twice in two different rooms from the room we're using. That's how big it is. Mental. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know if it was just me and Arlo were thinking last night. Uh, banter at the Bentley. Mm-hmm. They comment at the cash. It's like, were you rubbing it? Banter the but well, Connor Key says banter is a Protestant word. <laughs> no, he does the crack jokes. He says uh, Protestants don't have crack. They have banter. banter. Be fingers, but in. Of course, he couldn't agree with me. He shut himself there, or nearly shut himself. <coughs> and they, we were. <laughs> Jade, was it? I mean, no, we were doing a gig and he came and he fucking got out of the car and he just started violently vomiting. No way. Didn't know what was wrong with him and then he felt it going the other direction then. Going around, eh? Mickey landed then, he had to <laughs> had to laugh. Mickey was working out for a shade, man. I says, There's the toilets, there's too dark and I'm fucking not doing it on there. I need a, I need a bar. I says, I goes, you know what? And away he went. He went to the alley and he went to the door and says, I can I use the toilet in your regal? I don't know what it was like one of them things. I or, not realising that he headlined a, a show in there the week before. Mm. <laughs> and then the week after trying to get a button done. I try to get a shade. So the boys were Was there like, many in the October fest? No. But hey, do you know what I said to the boys? I said, listen, there's about 35, 40 people. What I did too was crafty when I came in. Because see by the way the benches are all long with stools. I made them all straight to fit, so and just seats on that side. And still somebody turned it back around and got people each round each one, but most of them stayed through. They're all for, And then I says, it was 15 quid on this. Is the people that paid are going to want to have the crack. So we'll go on that. If it was like a, a night where we were at Edison, and they're like, who the fuck's that? They came, they see. Yes. Comedy. So they, yeah. they loved it. <laughs> Wild crack. The sound system was great too, Jordy. It was perfect. Makes some difference when you have the right sound. Oh, Jordy's good as Jordy. So around the West Belfast, when I was doing that gig, the, the mic started cutting out. And I knew they didn't have a great mic. I said, geez, I made a man. Got man. Started to work again. Then the lead started acting dodgy. So I had to get my cable as well. So they're lucky I was coming up because they would have no sound. Sounds well important. Comedian, podcaster, sound man. Radio, what is the host? <clears throat> well, not really, because when Phantom's not there, you can't do it. <laughs> didn't do last week. Somebody was asking me during the week, you're not on the radio, and I asked, do you know why? <laughs> it's because Ronan didn't listen. The one thing that was been told, so any instructions, no, any directions. Uh, People are like, I'm fucking... Uh, uh, 
But uh, I can't do lectures and I can't do a sweat job, man. My brain doesn't have that hold. I fucking hey, I was <laughs> I was thinking about you last day. I was listening to get this podcast and they were they were watching old Irish videos from back in the day. Ireland's fattest man. <laughs> Bet he wasn't even big. <laughs> Sorry, was about ten. What do you think he was? Twenty to sixteen and a half. Shut sure. up! <laughs> no, I swear to God, sir. Sure, there was one I seen the boy. This boy was in a circus. People paid to go in and look at him, and, go, and he was the same weight as me. <laughs> he was a actual twenty three and a half stone, and he was like known around the world as the fattest man. And I used to sit in the chair and just come in and probably Ireland, fed him. Ireland's fattest man. You were you you slimmed down to sixteen. <laughs> That's what I am now. <laughs> Maybe seventeen. Sixteen and a half. No, it was a big round short. Mm. But it was only sixteen and a half stone. Right? I always said that about even Jared that went the turkey with me, I was looking at him and I knew with the fat on him that he, like and he never exercised. He's doing an Iron Man. He did uh, a marathon there. He's doing an Iron Man next week. Alright, fine. I said you're gonna go down to eleven stone. He goes, Boy, see if I get the seventeen man I'll be because it was like twenty one stone. He's thinking sixteen would be great. Straight down to eleven. Cause he had nothing on him, no muscle or nothing, it was just Ah, uh, but he's extreme. Aye. And now he's addicted to training. Like, man, somebody was telling me in the steam room the last day, he did an Iron Man. I think he did an Iron Man, and then he went to the. Aye, he did an Iron Man, and then he got up the next morning, went to the pool, and then did a marathon that day or so. The next day. I'm going, could that be good for you? But he's just addicted to training. You know what it was, my thing, I, I said? Because his lungs had to get used to carrying that big body around. Mm. Then all of a sudden, there's no weight. So I'm running off like, this is fucking simple. And I never really used fucking hurt it. it never damaged his knees running because it wasn't doing no. <sighs> no. Fuck. I'm on the tomorrow morning. You're going to get a wee up tomorrow, eh? But nervous about it, you know. Why? I don't know. You going to be sleeping? Aye. Uh, ah, I'll be about right then. Imagine it's one of them ones you feel everything but your sleep. Happened to a few boys. Fuck. No. Oh, you're asleep, but you can feel you? Oh, my God. It's like you're in your shack. Locked room. No. Ah! Ah, nobody's hearing you. So what do they actually do? Did they talk to you through it? But open her up. Have you had, ever had an up in the knees before? Aye. What was I that? I just cleaned out on this knee. Yeah, it sounds rotten. <coughs> I don't know. It's like dust, is it? I don't know. Just don't. Doesn't sound nice cleaning anything. No, you? man, I just, I, I don't like being put to sleep. I don't like that. And then you wake up, you're just there. A oh, turkey was my big scare, remember? <coughs> Fuck. I always like about I woke up in a corridor, like. <laughs> it's metal. On a bed with wheels. Just, and I and mean an agony. That was the moment I thought it was the biggest mistake in my life. That was a hard, nobody, I never told nobody, but see them first fucking two months. It's the hardest thing I ever went through in my life. Because you can't, there's no food for days. Nearly fainted then and there's no hotel, but you can't. Your whole mind's fucked up. Mm. You get depressed, like, because you're thinking, I'm changed forever. I can't enjoy things I used to, and this is shit. And it's a mind fuck as well, though. Fuck. <coughs> you have to get through that. It takes ages. Like, I was chatting to Talal was saying his friend got it. He says, I doesn't fuck about like you, but <laughs> using me as an excuse, I know about it. Got a bit of weight back on. Take it, come. <laughs> Till Alice says him too. <laughs> fucking big football head. Ah, he always, he's got he looks like fucking a silver fucking silver back girl. Do you know what? That's an order like backhanded fucking mm. abuse. Ah, uh, you know what? He but he does it right. <laughs> he got it done, but he didn't not. He it's like your man came out and said, "I seen she's old and expecting that." Nah, uh, hey, you are funny. Hey, <laughs> but it's like you know what? That's probably he, fall, he done it right. He got it done as well, same as you, but he didn't. He, he didn't fuck about like you. But he's doing it worse than <laughs> he won't fucking take a drink. Oh, that's me finished with alcohol or beer. Can't touch it. But I was told to stay away from fuzzy stuff because it's not good for the stomach. And you get used to it, but now I can beer away. They all... <laughs> once he finds the cheap code, it's all over. <laughs> do you take your first punch. <clears throat> do you realise there's some people out there don't go looking for the cheap code? <laughs> I Google like, cheat codes. Like Turkey itself is a cheat code. Aye. And then you're looking for the I'm cheat code. I'm looking to Google then. And <coughs> no, when you get stuck in games, you Google the fucking cheats. Aye. That's the same. That's what I'm going to do. This Slider week. foods are called. It's a thing, Slide isn't it? Slide on the. Anything that doesn't. Sounds sexy. Slider foods. 
swallower. Sounds like a fucking... A gaggler. Sounds like a fetish. What's her thing? Slater foods. There was probably somebody in there. There was somebody in there. No, man, I remember you ringing me from Turkey, sir, and you were a fucking... Bad farm. Bad farm, sir. I went new one, too, with a crabbitness. No, because me and Jared and another wee girl went today, but they went to a different hospital in a different part of Turkey. Like, so I only seen them in the airport on the way over and the way back. <coughs> Didn't see them during, so I did it all solo, like... And huffed with everybody. They just see my arse when they walked under the room. Hey? Sleep at home. Get up and walk around and be good for the gas. Jesus, the pain. Every fart was delicious. You know what, I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It was good? Just died. Just relieved pain. You're getting that gas. See, when they open you up, <coughs> right. the same thing happened when I was stabbed and when I got my appendix out. When they're operating at you and then you're fucking, you're full of like... Air must get on or something, I don't know. I remember going to, you know, when you're going to the toilet thinking this is a massive shit and it's just... You just feel like, yes. That's a, I'll tell you the one. I was working in America in the States for Butler. He says, oh, you do that job, I'll be back in a minute. So I had out of the roach coach, you know, the, the, the van that comes around. It's diving, and I got a bap and so on. And I was working away and I just felt the stomach going, oh, fuck. Like a proper burn. It was that bad that I was going down under my stomach and you know you ever get that pain there and all and you're just like what? and I was and I went driving up to the shop and it was the shop place called the Wawa and that was agony sir. I had to go around the back of the shop. Like the back of the shop I'd say yours. Didn't care and I had the bear there since start squeezing. And I mean sir, I thought I was gonna shed an elephant. On the street? So I was had like was like out where they put the buns behind the shop, you know what I mean? And I'm like and I swear to God, sir, I was waiting to look round and see a fucking baby wheel, you know what I mean? You think you're a job? That's what you said that says. Bright green. <laughs> just sitting there looking at me, shining. And the pain just went... Phew. What the fuck was it? Was it, was it actually a shade? It was a shade, but it was bright green. The body just was, said, what the fuck are you eating? Get out <laughs> And made its way straight out. On a dead I was back working then, no bother. Sandy Butler, you missed that. What? I just had. <laughs> I was working in the same way, box out, boy. Went way into the dump. I said, do it in an old box, and then throw it away, and I had it in the box to the length of it. I had to go and show him. <laughs> That's when I worked with him that first day. <laughs> said, they walked into a dump. What kind of boy? He said, no, baby. At the back of his shiny box. I cared to the cracker <laughs> head, a boy called Cocker. Corky? I went this way, and everything. Corky was a mental case, like. Corker's one of these boys in the days we had, and he carried his wife down the aisle. No, <laughs> just the head, like, walked down the From the town? <laughs> from the top to the bottom of the aisle. I bet he's from the town. No, he's from Derry, but we lived in America. We. Right, okay. So when you're working on the sites, we worked a, we wire meshed houses. So you'd have the box at uh, Staples, and you bring it around me everywhere. <laughs> and it was a scorcher day, and all day Corker's going, Boys, are you not getting a wild fucking smell from this house? And we're like, no. Nah. Man, all day long I can't get rid of it, and boys, it smells like fucking shit. What happens? Our Kieran sat in the the a box and replaced his staples with that, and everywhere he went, he just <laughs> put up a oh my god! For the whole day he was just smelling like what the fuck is that? And I'm cooking too. <laughs> cooking fresh, sizzling away like a good one. And Kieran just did it to go and watch him all day, you know, and go back to work. The things men do just to entertain themselves, eh? <laughs> eh? Just to fucking get a giggle. Just to fucking get one up. I remember me and Darren Wallace were in the site and they were getting stuck into the Irish and the place. We heard them. They just the other side they were calling us like, I can't even remember what they are getting really stuck, anti-Irish stuff like, laughing and all. And I was going, I was, yes. Went down to their van, pulled their keys out and just fucked it into a big forest. <laughs> they weren't getting home that night, like. No phones and on there either. No. Pagers. Boys at pagers. I love the boys. Just to, oh, no, it was if they're important. There's a boy working with us, got his wife to page him all the time. So they have to go. Then they have to go. And f- for some reason, I don't know why this was law back then. Oh, boys, I need to go and find a payphone. Oh. So they're in their van driving to the shop to find a payphone because they got paged. Who gives a fuck you got paged? Hmm. Hey, you got a text message there? Ah. I'll see. I have, I, have to to, go. I have to go. Hey. Three miles into town to get a fucking phone to ring and say, What was that? What do you want for lunch? Right. Oh, right it's mad. No, it wasn't a law. 
I was like that, but Aye. on the site, he got paid, so it was like important. Oh, he's got. Ah, it's like a doctor, you see. Oh, I need to fucking take this. Oh. Saving lives. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck off. Right, hey, we'll wrap her up there, because I need to go. Aye. Thanks for listening, and hopefully, Orange and the New Green went good last week. So that's going to be like probably two weeks then. Couple of weeks, I think. Uh, Night up, up the boys. Up a hedge.